A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. Part One. The main characters. Puck, caught hobgoblin by some, a merry wanderer of the night. Duke Theseus and Queen Hippolyta. Theseus rules Athens and his coming marriage to Hippolyta. Hermia, she has been promised by her father Aegeus to Demetrius, but actually loves Lysander. Lysander, in love with Hermia, then with Helena by magic, finally with Hermia again. Helena, Hermia's friend. In love with Demetrius, and finally has her love returned by him. Demetrius, he loves Hermia to begin, but then Helena by magic, who steadfastly loves him. Titania, queen of the fairies, argues with Oberon, whose spell makes her fall in love with Bottom. With a donkey's head, Oberon, king of the fairies, rules the woodland fairies and uses Puck as his helper and fixer. Nick Bottom, a weaver, Puck gives him a donkey's head. The woods outside Athens. Puck is a merry wanderer of the night. Some call him Hobgoblin, but he prefers Puck. He works for his master Oberon and makes sure he has good luck. Let's see what's happening in Athens first. The city of Athens. Welcome to Athens, a city all in a flutter. Because in just four days, the noble Duke Theseus is marrying the warrior Queen Hippolyta. Most people are excited, but others are feeling stressed, like the young lady Hermia, who's in a proper mess. Hermia's dad, Aegeus, wants her to marry Demetrius, but Hermia's in love with an other who goes by the name of Lysander. Aegeus isn't happy. A daughter should respect her father, so off he goes to Theseus to try to sort out the border. Put duty over desire, says the lord of the land. Fit your fancies to your father's will. It's what the law demands. Take four days to think it over, says the duke to the young lover. But. Upon our wedding day, be ready to do as we say. Hermia's house, Athens. Poor Hermia. Let's see how she's doing. Puck is just going to wait up there. Don't worry. They can't see Puck. Here she comes. Oh, Hermia, why is your cheek so pale? Said Lysander. Lysander, it's so unfair to have to choose my love by my father's eyes," said Hermia. "The course of true love never did run smooth," said Lysander. "But couldn't it run a little less bumpy?" said Hermia. "Hear me, Hermia. I have an idea. We should get out of this city and head for the far side of the woods." Where Athenian law doesn't reach, and instead of marrying Demetrius, you can marry me. Tomorrow night, I will wait for you in the woods, and we'll travel together. If you have me," said Lysander. "My good Lysander, I swear to you by Cupid's strongest bow that I'll meet you tomorrow in the wood," 
said Hermia. Ah, the best laid plans of young lovers, said Puck. Oh, whoa, 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 cried Helena. Helena is the friend of Hermia, and she's not happy. Fair Helena, said Hermia. You call me fair? That fair I cannot say. Demetrius loves your fair. Ah, why can't I look like you? Why can't I sound like you? Why can't I be you? Oh, teach me how to make Demetrius love me like he loves you," said Helena. I frowned at him, yet he loves me still," said Hermia. Oh, then you could teach me that skill," said Helena. Helena. Honestly, the more I hate him, the more he follows me," said Hermia. "The more I love him, the more he hates me," said Helena. "Take comfort, Helena. Demetrius is no more going to see my face because Lysander and I are planning to flee this place," said Hermia. "What?" cried Helena. Shh! Tomorrow night," said Hermia. "When it's dark and nobody can see us," said Lysander. "We're going to sneak out of Athens gates," said Hermia. "You're running away," asked Helena. "It's the only way for us to be together. You understand, don't you?" Replied Hermia. I said Helena. Farewell, dear Helena. Pray for us. Be safe, Lysander, and hide from my sight. I won't see you till tomorrow when we flee at midnight. Said Hermia. Farewell, my Hermia. Helena, adieu. As you dote on him. I hope Demetrius will now start to dote on you," said Lysander. Ah,、uh, why should Hermia be so much happier than me? Through Athens, I am thought as fair as she. But what of that? Demetrius doesn't think so. He used to, to love me, but then he's changed his mind. And. Since he started to fancy Hermia, he's been really very unkind. I will go and tell him of Hermia and Lysander's plan, and maybe then he will thank me for sharing their secrets and start to be a kinder man. Helena thought. So it looks like Lysander and Hermia's secret plan isn't so secret anymore. When they meet by moonlight tomorrow, something tells me Demetrius and Helena won't be far behind," said Puck. This is the end of part one. To be continued in part two. See you then.